everybody, this is your boy Darkblade at XO Dark and Sports Gaming Network, aka Blackhawk Division Leader for DCUO. How's it going? Let's go with you, Pippin. Let's get it. As you can see in the title of the video, we're doing the feat known as Hat Trick with the bonus feat, Granny's Gold Star. This feat takes place in the Halls of Power Part 2 T7 Raid Happiness Home. This raid has a regular version and also an elite version. Both defeats Hat Trick and Granny's Gold Star can only be completed in the Elite version. So keep in mind you guys want to make sure that you're well prepared to do this feat. As you guys know I do my feat videos from the perspective of someone first being able to come into content. And I really can't suggest that with this type of thing. Let's see, the highest CR here was 126 and when this came out the highest CRs at the time were 116. I'm not really going to suggest coming in here and trying to do that feat at 116. Uh, I would definitely say at least 120 and up. Uh, but with the changes now, like cause this is not like how it was when it first launched. With the changes now, I kind of want to say at least 130 and up. Some might say, no, nah, I need to say 140 and up. But it, it really depends on you and your group. Let's say your whole group... I don't know, I'm maybe 130, 140 and up. It's, it's hard for me to say for this feat, or for these feats, because this feat is about survival. You must not just beat it, you have to survive. There can be no deaths, depending on which feat you're going for. Right, this is all about survival. And all about, I guess, I want to say patience. Some people say burn, I'm going to say patience. It's really all about you and your makeup. So let's go over what we have to do first. For a group that's 130 or all 140s, I want to suggest at least one tank. If you guys want to do two tanks, that's cool too. You really just need the one. Actually, you know what? With all the changes and everything, uh, maybe I should change that to two tanks. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, one or two tanks is good. Especially since this is the Elite version and there's going to be some changes. Yeah, I'm gonna suggest two tanks. Two tanks for this, two healers, one troll, and the rest DPS. Provided that everybody knows what they're doing as far as how to play their role and the mechanics of this room, this will go very, very smoothly for you. The definition of hat trick says defeat Granny's prized pupil and Stampa and Lashea within 12 seconds of each other in the elite raid. So from the time that one boss goes down to the time that the last boss goes down must be within 12 seconds of each other. Three bosses must all die. All right. And then the other feat is Granny's Goat Star. That says, defeat the Happiness Home Elite Raid without any group members being knocked out. Pretty much don't die. Granny's Ghost Star is pretty much just straight up survival. No one can die. I'm going to suggest a high CR for that, but do what you guys want. I really want to suggest 130 and up. Strongly want to say 130 and up. I don't think you got to be 140, but of course, let's face it. The higher your CR is, that means you have better gear. That means you have better stats. And hopefully some more XP. So, that being said, the higher the better. So... It's up to you, take this what you will. Come here whenever you guys want to, but I would suggest at least 130 and up. At least 130 and up. Alright, the strategy for this feat is actually just patience and pretty good burn. You don't actually need to have OP burn, it does help, so don't get me wrong. As you guys see in the video, we are overpowered to be here, but you don't need to be. You don't need to be at all. The strategy for this is just patience and doing what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. Alright. So we're going to focus on the last boss fight because that's pretty much the hardest part. I think everybody can get past the first two bosses, especially the first boss, come on, yeah, I think we can get past that. Second boss, uh, we have a video on it, what you want to do is have your tank split up the bosses. I would suggest taking out uh, Flash first and then working on Aquaman, there's really nowhere else around that. Alright, so let's focus on these two last bosses. The key here is to not kill them until you're ready take your time what we're going to do is just work each of their health down until they're really low and about equal i want to say until both of them or all three of them i mean 
are about one fourth of life left. All right, just work them all the way down to that. So this is how it's gonna happen. When it first starts in the last boss fight, Lachea and Stoppa are gonna both come out. Have one tank, tank Stoppa on one side of the room, and have the other tank, tank Lachea on the other side. You gotta separate them. At that point, I would probably say work on Stoppa first. Now there's ways of keeping Stompa over there, but we'll get to that later in the video. Right now, let's just get down to the details. So I would say work on Stompa first. Bring her health down a little bit. Bring her health down to about halfway. Halfway in her health bar. Halfway. At that point, switch over to Lashea and bring her halfway. Alright, now that both of them are at halfway, that means that when you add the health together, about a full health bar has been lost. At that point, Black Adam or Superman will be free and come down to attack you. Right At that point, and this is if you want to do this, I kind of suggest doing it. But if you want to, this is where you guys can start bringing out some trinkets or pets or psychics or whatever. And not all of them at the same time, keep in mind. They're not out here to do any damage. They're here just to distract. You see, for some reason, Superman and Black Adam love targeting... Sidekicks, trinkets, pets, instead of actual players. For some reason, I don't know. As you've been watching this video, you'll notice that everything else is getting hit, except for the players, really. So that's one of the things. You want to just have somebody always rotate having their pet or psychic or trinket out. Don't bring them all at the same time because we all have cooldowns, right? If they're all out, that means there will be a period of time where there's nothing out. So just keep rotating them. And you can do this from the very beginning of the raid, because you know in the very beginning you're getting your shot with a laser or lightning. You know, so you can just keep it just like that if you want. Alright, now, anyway. Once that full health bar is lost, Black Adam or Superman will come down, like I said. At that point, you want to start working a little bit on Superman. Okay, now remember, Lachey and Stomper are at halfway. You can pick whether you want to hold off on Superman because he's going to be pretty much distracted with the pets and stuff like that. You can pretty much just leave him to himself. Now, he will attack and punch people occasionally, but his laser beams are going to go towards the pets and trinkets. You don't really have to worry about him too much. So what you can do is work back on Stompa and the Shea. Bring both of their healths down to one-fourth each. So the fourth bar, they should only have about one-fourth of life left on both of their health bars. At that point, start working on either Black Adam or Superman. Alright, and now this is key. I'm saying one-fourth because I believe that's a good enough health to where you can just kill one and then move to the next, kill it, then move to the next, and then kill it. Alright, so with that being said, I would work on Black Man, or my bad, <laughs> work on Black Adam or Superman and just take them out. Get rid of them. Put them away. Put them away. And I know this strategy uh, might leave time for Superman to enrage, so there's something else you guys can be doing too at the same time. There are four consoles in the room. When you first come into the room, one is destroyed. So there are three working consoles. What you can do is destroy two more of those consoles, leaving one up. Now, the reason we're destroying consoles is because every time you destroy a console, it makes it harder for Superman or Black Adam to enrage. However, you do not, under any circumstances, want to destroy them all. Because if they're all destroyed, that means that the enragement will happen super fast. So what you want to do is leave at least one up. That will ensure that you have the longest time possible before someone enrages. Now, with that being said, all the strategies, you should be able to get this feat pretty easy. But let me give you guys one last tip. With Stompa, it might be hard trying to keep aggro with her, especially with her breaking tanks aggro. They are scripted to do that, right? So there's Atrocitus in Assault and Battery. There's Grundy in Blackest Night. And here's Stompa. They're all scripted to break aggro, but there is a way that you can keep aggro on you, especially if you know what you're doing. As a tank, there are things you can do to ensure that you keep aggro, especially if your group is helping you out, and that is key. This will take a team effort. A team effort. There are aggro tiers in this game. There's tank powers at the very top. Nothing's higher than it. Tank powers. The second tier is heal powers. The only thing higher than it is tank powers. After that is damage. 
everything that is damage wise fits in here powers weapons and then you name it also in that damage category we can draw in troll because troll powers unlike healer and tank when someone switches to a troll they do not drop damage output and that is because they need to be able to regen power back now that might have changed a little bit with stat revamp but i don't believe it has but don't quote me on that it should still stay the same as far as you know being able to damage full power anyway so that means the third tier is damage and then the fourth tier is proximity and those are the four tiers of aggro so as we said stampa is able to drop tank aggro so tanks powers are gone that leaves just healing damage and proximity so who's going to get the aggro then is it going to be the healer with his powers it should be but for the most part a healer is not spamming his powers like that unless he is then yeah he's going to be getting the one attack the most but that's not always the case so then who really is going to be getting the aggro damage is going to get the aggro and who are the fastest damagers are the ones who damage the most dps's so for the most part you're going to see a lot of dps's getting aggro in here so how can the group help to make sure that the tank never loses aggro and i do mean never if the group knows what they're doing you will never lose aggro slow slowing down your attacks don't slow down your burn slow down your attacks when you see that stampa has stopped and dropped tank aggro stop doing anything just block just block or run away or move out the way you know what i'm saying if you see she's coming towards you don't just block move out the way but stop what you're doing and allow the tank to start doing some damage because that tank needs to start doing damage don't use your pull moves as your power moves okay actually i take that back use a taunt and then go in for damage you need to be doing damage whether if all you're doing is just tapping range a couple times you need to start doing damage so that you can start aggroing because damage is now going to be the aggro. You need to start doing some damage. While everybody else has stopped, you continue, which means you get your aggro back, she's right back on you. If you do it right, you know how she like loosely points at somebody and runs towards them? Or she'll just randomly run at somebody? When she randomly runs at somebody, before that attack happens, she'll run right back to you if you're doing what you're supposed to do. So it's kind of like she's going to run off, but she's going to come right back immediately to you if you're doing the right thing, right? I hope these tips have helped you guys out. I'm going to go ahead and just rewind this back and let you guys see the video for what it is. Now keep in mind, we're overpowered, so a lot of things that I said in this video to do, we were able to, you know, just pretty much just do our own thing. Hopefully I've given you guys also enough information on getting Granny's Ghost Star along with using these tips in these videos. It should help you and go a long way towards it. Alright, so enjoy the rest of the video. We don't have to worry about the consoles. The big issue the last time was about co too much damage was going to consoles. It was really hard to not take care of them. Yeah, since we... And still make the console thing work. Mm -hmm. We should destroy the consoles now. Although I think it was easier if you left one console up, another been all the other consoles down, I believe. Oh yeah, that's fine. I think if all the consoles down, he enrages faster. Correct. That's correct. You want to leave one up? That's true. I remember that. There we go. It had to happen. We got both of them. Because yeah, we are elite. awesome. <laughs> yeah, in yeah, Elite, that, yeah, you get both in, a, in the Elite. I hate you, Flash. Wanna be? Hey, you. Actually, that might piss him off. Never mind. I didn't say that. Alright, he's dead. I totally said that. Such naughty children, we, we need discipline. Oh, God, these are gonna suck. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Stomp is gonna wanna go steady again, and I'm gonna be like, no, I'm good. I understand I'm big, you're big, but that doesn't mean that we're a match, okay? All right. 
try to keep them even. Okay. Now. Look out, Caden! Look out! There you go. All right, they're halfway. Try to leave. Uh, try to stay off these guys. Work on Superman. Get him halfway. So they're all even. So I'm gonna try not to aggro him. Yeah, work on Superman. 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 Drones up. That reminds me, consoles. We can, we can get one. Yeah. Just leave one console up. Yeah, with Superman's health, is that the same as the others? I'm gonna group them together and then we're gonna kill them all at the same time. Um, uh, which you know is actually pretty much right now. Yeah, I took one out. Okay. All right, looks like okay. We've got one. We've got our one bosses, console. Kill the bosses. Up, so kill the bosses. Good. Superman's down. Superman's down. Kill the bosses right now. All right, it should pop. Out. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like what you see in this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to put out a lot of videos on this channel, man. Also, guys, if you uh, tell me what you guys thought about this video, man, leave a comment in the section below. I will get back to you, I promise. And also, if you guys get a chance, check out our other YouTube channel, OSIF. Just search for it in the search box. Type in OSIF, you'll see it. Okay, also, if you guys get a chance, check out our websites, thedarkenforcers.com and also OSIF.com. Anyway, guys, this is your boy, Darkblade XX at Dark Enforcers, aka Black Hawk Division Leader for DCO. Dark Enforcers Gaming Network, Darkness Rises, holla.